the electricity grid is changing to one which contains a whole host of distributed resources, distributed PV, battery storage, electric vehicles and flexible loads. We're seeing a major change from a centralised grid to a distributed and decentralised grid and this is creating uh, lots of challenges for how the distribution network is going to work in the future. The project's really important because it's tackling the energy trilemma, that is of reducing customers' costs, reducing carbon emissions, while maintaining a good level of reliability in the power system. That can only happen if you have a technology like that which we are developing and demonstrating in the consult project. This project is incredibly complex because it's a social technical change that we're, we're trying to, to bring about. That means that it requires um, expertise and input from different disciplines. So that's why in this project we've brought in economists and social scientists as well as computer scientists who are doing the nuts and bolts work of, of developing the technology. The goals of the consort project were really to understand how we could use customer-owned solar and battery systems to effectively work together to solve substantial problems that were being faced uh, in the electricity system. So we selected Bruny Islands as the place for our trial because it has a genuine network issue, basically the cable that links the island to the mainland uh, cannot cope when people are going on the islands uh, on holidays and so there is a big peak of demand and so we could with a modest investment really provide a solution to this problem at the same time as demonstrating a much more powerful technology that could be used to coordinate thousands of batteries in the future. The NAC is essentially a piece of software which is used to coordinate automatically the scheduling of resources, for example batteries owned by householders, to charge and discharge in a way that manages the network better than what it currently is. So what our technology does, it enables consumers to coordinate their behaviour so they can share this finite resource which is the network. They can coordinate when they consume electricity and when they supply power back to the network. The NAC is actually providing an evolution in the relationship between an energy provider such as a network and an energy producer such as a household or even a community. Photovoltaics previously fed to the network but they haven't actually been able to do it at a time when it was needed by the network um, or at a time that was convenient to the householder. But with this new technology we can do both. Without something like NAC, we could run into all sorts of issues when customers are generating too much power out into the grid or uh, are using too much power. We can actually use NAC as a tool to enable customers to do a lot more and protect the grid at the same time. The NAC will allow us to continue to see the installation of residential batteries and energy storage, but importantly, it'll also allow us to deploy substantially more amounts of renewable generation in our grid. Every network in Australia is facing the issues that we're facing here. This project provides tools to address that. The concepts that are being investigated and the solutions that are being developed actually apply much more generally, not just to Bruny Island, um, but also to Tasmania and Australia. One day we're going to be turning off coal-fired power stations because of the NAC.